Hi, I'm Matthew McKenzie, trainer with Toyota University. We get a lot of questions about Toyota's hybrid synergy drive and how it works. This video is going to provide you with a demonstration using a tandem bicycle to illustrate what happens and when with hybrid synergy drive. Picture hybrid synergy drive like a recycling bin. It produces energy, a small portion of which we can use and reuse again and again to and from the hybrid battery. A hybrid combines two sources of power, a gas engine and an electric motor, just like our tandem bike here. I will be the front cyclist, which makes me like the electric motor. I have trained to provide power at low speeds. Romeric will be the rear cyclist, acting in the role of the gas engine. The rear cyclist has trained to provide power at higher speeds. Romeric as the engine, and I as the electric motor, can work together as power sources or independently. All this is true for Hybrid Synergy Drive, Toyota's full hybrid system. In contrast to our system, some competitors use mild hybrids, which have a small electric motor that helps the engine, but can't alone drive the wheels. Much like the picture you see here of the tag-along bike being ridden by the young child. Sure enough, the child is helping, but if the adult was not pedaling, chances are the child wouldn't be able to move the bike along on his or her own. Let's summarize the equipment of Hybrid Synergy Drive. First, we have two powerful electric motors. Finally, a nickel metal hydride battery that never needs charging because the car does this by itself. Anything that uses electricity is represented by me. I represent the Atkinson Cycle gas engine and planetary gear set transmission, which is also unique to Toyota's hybrid system. That's why I'm wearing a shirt with a gas pump on it. I am all things gas. Now for the purposes of our demonstration, pay attention to our feet. Whoever's feet are moving, that's who's powering the bicycle. Right now we're stopped, like at a red traffic light or at a stop sign. Both Romeric and I are now at rest. The only energy we're using at the moment is for basic functions such as breathing. Similarly, in hybrid synergy drive, the two drive sources, motor and engine, are at rest. All the while, the battery is supplying stored power to run the heating ventilation and AC system. The key here is that neither of us is wasting any energy. I am only using stored power, such as the food in my stomach, to provide us with energy. Now we'd like you to imagine that this single rider bicycle has appeared beside us. This bicycle is, in effect, a gas engine only powered vehicle. Since that person is the sole power source, the only way he or she keeps cool is to keep on riding. In other words, on traditional gas-powered vehicles, the engine has to stay running, which uses fuel to power the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system, which is very wasteful. Even while we are stopped, thanks to my use of stored battery power, I can keep Romeric cool, knowing that very soon, the energy I have used to do so will be replaced once the light turns green. To summarize, the powertrain is at rest, but all other systems are operational. Now the light has changed, and we're starting off. Remember, pay attention to the feet. I am powerful enough to get our bike going and continue to do so at very low speeds. I'm relaxing right now, so therefore I'm not using any fuel. I'll let Matthew do all the pedaling right now. Great job. Similarly, in hybrid synergy drive, the powerful electric motor alone drives the wheels at start off and at low speeds. This gets you that famous silent drive that our hybrids are known for. More importantly at this point, the vehicle is not producing any emissions or consuming any fuel. I'm taking over now because I've trained for this higher speed situation. But don't think I'm lazy or anything. I'm going to continue to help because I'm in good enough shape and I have some stored energy to spare. Eventually, however, I'm going to get tired because remember, I've only trained for low speed situations. But that's okay because behind me, I know I can count on Romeric to lend a hand. Similarly, in hybrid synergy drive, the motors drive the car at first, but they may need help. If they do, hybrid synergy drive will start the gas engine to lend assistance. The gas engine kicks in smoothly and supplies the additional power. It can also create a surplus. If it does, that surplus power is sent to the hybrid battery, automatically recharging it. The key here is that Romeric and I are working together in a synergistic and balanced way to move the car and maintain a state of charge in the battery. You may have noticed that we built up some speed, but at some point we'll have to slow down and eventually stop. As you can see, Matthew has taken his feet off the pedals to help us decelerate, 
and is now enjoying an ice-cold beverage, replenishing his energy. Now it's time to stop, so let's apply the brakes. As you can see, Matthew is doing just that. And he's still drinking that ice-cold beverage because braking too replenishes his energy. With Hybrid Synergy Drive, you can replenish the battery in two additional ways. Coasting, where you take your foot off the gas pedal, causing the electric motor to divert energy from the wheels to the battery. And finally, braking, where Hybrid Synergy Drive converts braking energy into electrical energy, which is also sent to the hybrid battery. In conventional drivetrains, this energy is lost. Remember that analogy, Hybrid Synergy Drive is like a recycling bin. This process also contributes to a lower total cost of ownership, lower parts and labor maintenance costs, and lower fuel costs as the coasting and braking energy is being stored for reuse later. Now we're accelerating, and both of us are giving it our utmost. Remember that single rider bicycle from earlier? It's in our rear view mirror, because we can sprint much faster because there are two of us. I mean, look at us, we're sweating. Who says hybrids have no power? In Hybrid Synergy Drive, Matthew and I are working at maximum power. This system is now using energy that was previously stored in the battery. In effect, thanks to my helping Romeric out, what we're doing is delivering power equivalent to cars with a larger gas engine, but with greater efficiency. So don't let customers challenge you on Romeric's small size and hybrids. It's not the size of Romeric's engine that counts, it's how he uses my motors. And don't forget, when accelerating in a gas engine only vehicle, you're using nothing but fuel and lots of it, thereby wasting money. In a hybrid synergy drive vehicle, yes, you are the engine, but you're also adding the power of electric motors. Because the motors are helping the gas engine, it doesn't need to work as hard. The less work the gas engine needs to do, the less fuel it needs, the less it pollutes, and both of which are good for the environment. With hybrid synergy drive, you and the planet are in great shape.